I, I, as time went on, I just started realizing, um, that a lot of time it went by, it was like four years and it just, I wasn't doing anything. I was numb. And, uh, unfortunately like, yeah, the girl that I was with at the time, like she was, um, strung out too. I felt really responsible for that. So I just realized, dude, like, I just, I didn't want to be that anymore. You know, a lot of it started, uh, well, I miss, you know, I miss my son and also like, yeah, I just didn't want, I realized that I was a toxic, I was being toxic. I was a toxic person to be around just by learning that if this girl was not with me, she probably wouldn't be a heroin addict. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, so it was like, sure. I just remember like thinking, um, actually it's pretty funny. Uh, like there was, uh, the first time, one of the first times I had that realization, we were like in an acid trip and, uh, I, uh, I was like peeking out or whatever. And I'm like, we don't need to do these drugs anymore. I'm done. And I like fucking grabbed all the heroin and everything and flushed it down the toilet. And she's like, what are you doing? What the fuck? And I'm like, trust me, man, we're just not going to do it. And of course, like when the heroin, when the acid started wearing off, I'm like, fuck, do we have any hair? <laughs> <laughs> what did I do? And she's like, you flushed it. And I was like, oh, Jesus. man, dude. Yeah. What? But I mean, it took yeah. a little while. There was like me. I really did want to get clean. Yeah. And, you know, it took a little while for it to actually happen. But what what was the th was there one thing or was it a bunch of things or what was the connection? Some It takes sometimes, I guess, a sort of a will, you know, obviously, but there's something, is there something that happened to you that you, it clicked and it, you just thought, I'm done? Just looking at her, looking at myself, just what I was becoming, I wanted it. I just, I, I, like you said, you have to hit rock bottom. And I think I really hit rock bottom, you know, uh, we were living in like filth, dude. I mean, we, and we were, we were just doing the same thing every day, just going to get drugs, coming back getting high probably dangerous too around dangerous people yeah yeah sometimes i mean like from what i've heard like a lot of those people aren't even alive anymore like it's um and then like basically uh it's funny you know i was on probation already and um we actually decided to go get clean and uh, fuck, I don't know. It was like Northern California somewhere. So we drove up there and um, we're like, we're just going to stay in this hotel and just get completely clean. And uh, of course we brought our last shots of heroin, but it was a lot of heroin. So we were like, just like shooting heroin up there. And then, um, Jesus. and then, and then, yeah, we ran out. So we were just in bed and we were, we were kicking and it was awful. And, um, then this person knocks on our door and she's like, I'm sorry, you guys need to move to another hotel room because whatever, I don't even know. And I can barely move. We're like day two into kicking. You can't move at all, dude. Like it's awful. My, when you say kicking, it means withdrawal. Like withdrawing, right. withdrawing. It's awful, dude. It's awful. And the last thing you want to do. And plus my, my. No motivation, nothing. You just have to just get yeah. through it. And my girlfriend, she, um. She, uh, she like is one of those people that just like packs so many fucking bags, you know what I mean? And there's like shit everywhere. So I'm like, fuck. And I try to go to the bed and I'm like, Monica, wake up, wake up, wake up. And she's like, no. So I had to like pack it all up. And I'm like, you know, out of my mind, just dying, sweating, you know, muscle spasms. Everything. In front of this person? No, 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 no. The person goes, I'm like, all right, give me like 30 minutes. So I like lug everything to the car. And uh, finally, I just like thought I cleaned everything up. So I'm like, all right, let's go. We got to go to this other hotel room. So I get around to bed and we go to this other hotel room and um, I just lay down there. And uh, then we get another knock on the door and they're like, you guys need to leave because we found some syringes in the, in the room. So I was like, fuck. And I'm like, I don't want, the last thing I want to do is drive. So we got in the car. I look up hotels that are like near us. So we moved, we go to, this is a long story. So no. We, we go to this other, we, <laughs> we, I'm like, this is hotels down the street. So we go to this other hotel and uh, I'm at this point, just like, I say, you go in, you check us in. I'm just going to sit in the car. 
And there's this cop and he comes and he's like looking around and then he comes out and he starts kind of just like harassing her and like, you know, do you have any drugs on you or anything like that? And, um, and, and then, you didn't at this point, right? No, 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 we didn't. We just had. You just um, did them. We, we just did them. And we just had. Uh, yeah, that was it. That was it. Um, she had some medications, I guess, that were like unmarked or whatever. Right, but right. it was like regular stuff. Like, I, she had never been used to getting arrested. So this kind of freaked her out, which kind of probably made the situation a little worse. But then I was intervening and the cop was just a dick to me. And he's like, you know, so then he handcuffs me. And then he's like, I'm taking you guys to jail. And I'm already on probation. And if I break that probation for anything, I'm going back to jail yeah. for a long time. And uh, I'm like, fuck, man. And um, so we were, we were brought to jail. I bailed out like the next day and um, <clears throat> essentially like, yeah. So I was kind of like, I guess you could say sort of a fugitive. Like, I mean, I just was like, you know, at my house and my, um, my uh, uh, parole officer called me. He's like, what the fuck? Blah, blah, blah. Well, you didn't have anything. I <laughs> yeah. Right. It's like a whole thing. And then I got in touch with, uh, a lawyer lawyer named Sarah Zari and she like worked it out that I would just have to uh, go to rehab for uh, six months. Wow. And, uh, and uh, then I would not have to go to jail or anything. Thank God. And um, so, and I don't know how she worked. She was amazing. She got it. So my probation would be dropped and everything. If I just went to rehab for six months. I had never been in rehab for that long. And uh, by s the time six months came around, um, I didn't even want to leave. I just stayed another six months. So I stayed there like a full year. And I mean, I was scared. I, I remember like when the six months came along, I was like, dude, I, I don't want to go back.